So, I'm here recording a video. It's a little rude and crude because I'm using the uh, webcam off my computer. I'm doing research now to get a better webcam. I do have an upgraded microphone, which is going to record my voice a little bit better. So, in the coming couple of months, I'm going to start the YouTube channel. This is just an introduction to see if it gains a little bit of interest. I know there's not many subscribers to my profile because I've only been posting randomly. But the idea is to start a YouTube channel specifically on board gaming 3D accessories. Because I really haven't found a channel that really focuses on that. I've seen a couple of people that'll 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 do the odd video here and there to show a couple of things. But my idea is to focus solely on this. Pretty much just on this, actually. You know, you know, I may do a couple of, you know, gameplays here and there, but that's psh, way in the future. The, the majority of the stuff that I want to do is 3D printing accessories because there's people out there buying 3D printers all the time. I mean, the, the, the cost of 3D printers have come significantly down. In Canadian dollars, you can get printers for as low as $200 Canadian and, and, and up to about $600 Canadian for a, for a decent printer. And in American dollars, I've seen them as low as $150 to Five hundred dollars, and I mean that's 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 anywhere from a bed that's two hundred or one fifty by one fifty millimeters to as high as four hundred and fifty by four hundred by four hundred mil millimeters. I have four printers myself, two smaller ones that are that are that that the uh, print bed in inches is roughly uh, uh, eight eight and a half by eight and a half inches prints eight eight inches tall. Two two that are you know print print 17 by 17 and 16 high so i mean i can print some pretty big stuff and i want to start showcasing i want to show you the things i found on thingiverse so that people can find this stuff see what it looks like before they 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 printed i've gone through and i've printed a bunch of stuff like this great insert that i printed for castles of burgundy i mean castles of burgundy had an insert that came with it but i printed this quick this quick insert look look and again the picture quality sucks because it's webcam look this the, this little quick insert Got some tile, some tile trays here that you can plop on the table, you know, and it fits beautifully in the insert that comes with the game. You know, I, I've, I've printed stuff like that. I printed, uh, I printed a root, a root insert. Look at this. This is root and the first expansion. It's not gonna fit the second expansion, which I do have coming. But you know, I've, I've gone ahead and, 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 and printed this great insert that fits sleeved cards. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Great, color-coded to the factions, you know, perfect. Trays that you can plop on the table or or uh, or uh, give to players. You know, stuff like this is what I want to start sh start showcasing. And like I said, obviously going to have a better camera. But, you know, I've, I've, I've printed other stuff like Wingspan. Fantastic game, but, you know, the bits in it, they're just little cardboard bits. And you've got, and you've got little cube, cubes, wooden cubes for, like, the birdhouses. But look. 3D printed birdhouses in player colors. Look, look at that, right? 3D printed fish for the for the fish resource, right? You know, you know, and a and a 3D printed mice and a see if see see if I can find them. Th Oops, I dropped that on the computer. Oh, this is why I need to get a better webcam. But a 3D printed owl as a first player marker, which is literally a test print for for. The 3D printers that I got, but it works perfect as a as a uh, first player marker. You know, you know, you know. This is, upgrades like this, or you know, s stuff like this that you you see people discuss in in in, in a Facebook groups, but you don't see a dedicated channel to it. What I want to do is I want to start that dedicated 3D print channel. I want to show people what they can do with their 3D printer to accessorize and organize their board game collection i mean people have hundreds of games and you know they're paying money to upgrade their collections by by buying upgraded bits which is which is fantastic if you want to if you want to not do the creative way and you want to buy them at the bgg store or top shelf gamers or 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 through meeple source fantastic but if you want to do a hands-on approach and buy your 3d printer for three to five hundred dollars or you know, you know, you know, three to six hundred dollars. Then, I I want to show you uh, what you can make. I mean, look, pipeline, three D printed insert for pipeline, including including these little blockers for the regions. So you know which region you just pop them on the board. So you know which regions are ones that 
aren't accessible during that particular stage in the game. These are all things I found on Thingiverse. They're not my own designs. I haven't figured out how to make my own designs yet. That hopefully will come at some point in time. But the things that are findable for, for anybody, free to print, right? Free to print uh, for yourself as long as it's for your own use. They're up there on Thingiverse. And I want to be able to show you what I found. I mean, I've I've got a good amount of games. If you can take a quick, quick little spin around my room here. Spin this way again, it's just my computer, right? And I want to accessorize as many of them as I can, as many of them as I can, and show you how to do it from the file to setting it up on your slicer to shots of the print to what they look like versus the existing pieces that are in the game, and maybe show you what the cost is behind it so that you understand how little this costs for you to do it yourself. Per, again, you have to buy the printer and stuff, but I want to show you how you can bring your games to the next level and have fun doing it. So, again, this is a crude recording just to show you what I want to do. I will probably re-record this with a much better camera, but this is just to show you my idea of what I think I'm going to be doing soon. Hope to have you watching soon.